Welcome back to the Quick Review Basharoo. Before we begin, I want to thank everybody who checked out my most recent case study on Spoon's Transference. I was not expecting it to be that well received, so I just wanted to thank everybody who checked it out and uh, give a welcome to anybody who found me through that video. Second, and I know it's kind of late, but I wanted to thank everybody who checked out the Deep Discog Dive, uh, the first episode of it, a few weeks ago. I really appreciated all of your feedback, along with all the suggestions for future videos. Next one should hopefully be out next week, and because a lot of you asked for it, we're, we're gonna do Bjork. But anyway, let's get on to these new releases. Uh, as always, if you agree, disagree, or anything in between, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't want you in my bloodline is a weird way to tell a guy off, to the point where I'm kind of concerned as to how into hereditary science Ariana is, but otherwise I, I thought it was pretty good. I don't know, man, it's, it, it's fine, but LCD just doesn't grip me the same way they used to years ago. I guess you could say that I'm misplacing my acrimoniousness. You gotta hand it to Pump on this album, because he's managed to create something that's pretty dichotomous. Because this album is simultaneously a condemnation of the American educational system while being a stunning reminder of why it's so necessary. Nice going, dude. I mean, yeah, but like, also, no. Let's see how this ranks on the Hosey scale. Oh. Ugh, still a ways from Hoseyest, but, yeah, you know, it's getting there. I know some of you are disappointed in this record, but look on the bright side. According to Google, there are over 10 million colors that the human eye can detect, and Weezer's only named six of their albums after colors, so... They, they've gotta make another good one eventually. Not because it's bad or anything, I, I do like it. I just don't think it works for this quick review format. I, I think I need more time to sort of uh, ruminate on it. Um, uh, but if you want, you can use this to get a slushy at 7-Eleven. Uh, surprisingly, they will uh, accept this. Why would I ever listen to this overproduced pop garbage when I've already made the best Avril Lavigne album that's ever gonna exist? 